50 teams, more than 700 middle and high school students, all simultaneously competing at three Colorado competition hubs. Welcome to the sixth year of Rocky Mountain Best and two new hubs in Colorado. This is a combination of science fair, a chess match, and a basketball game. You get to do everything. You get to write, you get to take pictures, to report. Uh, and if you're afraid of science and you come in here and suddenly you realize, hey, I'm not afraid, this is fun. You change your life. Three, two, one, go! Rocky Mountain Best, which stands for Boosting Engineering, Science and Technology Robotics Competition, began in 2010, encouraging students to pursue STEM careers and develop 21st century job skills. Rocky Mountain Best is a nonprofit, part of a national competition comprised of 44 hubs in 16 states. The Colorado competition has steadily grown from 10 teams, embracing the organization's slogan of Build a Robot in Six Weeks, Inspire a Youth for a Lifetime. For 2015, three hubs simultaneously competed with two in the Denver metro area and one in Trinidad. Can you drag this? this year's game is called Pay Dirt, a mining, economics, and commodity scenario. All teams get the same set of parts and game rules with kickoff, practice, and game days along the way. The uh, field is divided into one ground level and three sub levels. The ground level is the where the scoring bins are and where the commodities can be placed, all the items that have been mined. And the spotter has a really big job in this year's game and can rearrange the commodities. There are many, many items. Golf balls, cold squeezies, toilet paper rolls are the physical objects that the um, teams can move around. Game day exposes students to a higher education setting in Metropolitan State University in Denver with six and a half hours of matches concluding with final awards. Also required, a detailed project notebook like these must be completed as a ticket into final competition. The most exciting thing for me in the notebooks is when you do see the middle schoolers and how they, many of them have never even heard of an engineering design process and they are writing about the process, they're writing on how to be a team, they're writing the minutes to their meetings, um, and by the time the, the students are in high school, their ability to document, it is going to help them for the rest of their careers. Teams of up to 40 students are competing in many facets, as this is two competitions in one. The robotics and various components of the best award, the highest achievement any team can accomplish. While the robotics competition teaches engineering, it's the best award that requires students to learn a broad set of real-world skills, including marketing, technical writing, public speaking, and more. The best award components include a display booth and interview with judges, selling their theme and overall community engagement with their project. It can be stressful, um, but it's very fun, and um, you learn a lot over time. You learn um, a lot about companies and how to run a company, so it's really cool. The purpose of the booth is to like represent a robot out here because in there a lot of people, some people are going to be out here and so they can't see the robot if it's back there in the pits and, that, and sometimes it's out there driving but a lot of times it's in the pits and so we need the booth to represent a robot out here. As you see here we have robotics about our team, about our robot and, and these are the quotes of our 12 members. 12, uh, Mr. Purcell, our team leader, has, has been giving us a mission to go ahead and do quotes so we can give out to people and saying good luck to ourselves and giving people an inspiration of what we think about robots. The third component is um, project engineering notebooks. And then the uh, fourth component is one of my favorites, the spirit and sportsmanship. It really shows the collaboration that these teams all have with each other during the competition. And the final component, which is only 15% of the total score, is robot performance. At this year's marketing presentations, students presented for 10 minutes to an adult panel of judges, selling their theme, their robot, and why their team is best. You have pre-created a PowerPoint or something that you talk about your team and how you run your team, 
and um, you're like the business aspect, like really like nitty gritty, like numbers and like demographics and everything. And so you you're very professional. You dress up. You speak in front of these adults. It's a it's a really great way to get. Um, like get that experience of being like public speaking but also like being in a really like professional environment. I also learned that teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> um, it shows that you know as a team I learned how to work together with people and also I like control and I like being the leader and I like making sure I know what's going on but I learned how to take command from people and know that I, I should trust my peers and what they are doing. We ran into a couple problems such as uh, we could not correctly grab the calcopyrite box. We had some really big problems with the hook flipping over. We also have new engineering and computer classes that have impacted our school and our community. And as a team, we have past students, past members of our teams have attended really esteemed engineering schools like Carnegie Mellon. The most difficult thing about working as a team is just trying to divide up the, the work because everyone wants to do everything. Organizers say the components required to compete are showing them a clear trend of more and more students outside of STEM departments getting involved. STEM is trending into STEAM with the addition of arts components such as the booths, marketing plans, and team themes. The best award is really, really great um, to really like integrate um, more skill sets into engineering. So um, the regular competition is just um, the robot and like competition, and then an engineer's notebook. But the best award really hits home with um, people who are interested in writing and people who are interested in like marketing and business. And it really it just it ties it all together. It's um, it's really great. I think in life. We are multifaceted and we have many responsibilities. I think trying to model that practically for kids that are school in school, learning how to be proficient members of society, um, this, this hits the mark. Um, it's, uh, you can't just focus on a robot. Um, it's one thing to build a robot, design a robot, and, uh, and test it and make it work. It's, it's another thing to, on top of that, do the engineering that supports that work and document it in a way that communicates that process clearly to people who want to see your work. Overall, students are learning skills they'll use for a lifetime as they move into the workforce, including creativity, innovation and invention, critical thinking and problem solving, work ethics and self-direction, collaboration and teamwork, information literacy. 2015 brought the rise of participation of girls, with an all-girl team winning the best award, St. Mary's Academy. Organizers are also focusing on expanding diversity. In 2014, Rocky Mountain Best recruited schools who also participate in the Colorado 21st Century Community Learning Center program. The goal is to provide students in high-poverty, low-performing schools with academic enrichment opportunities that complement students' regular academic programs. This year, Rocky Mountain Best advanced its diversity goals by providing supplemental funding to underserved schools in the 2015 competition. We have a sponsor, in fact, who is underwriting an expansion of our diversity campaign um, to provide additional funding and resources for schools that might have difficulty um, coming to our events. Uh, that sponsorship can fund any, help overcome any obstacle to traveling to Denver, for example. Rocky Mountain Best has grown large enough that in 2016, it hopes to host its own regional championship in Denver. Previously, teams traveled to Arkansas to participate in the next level. We need teaming partners throughout the state that bring the hub competition to their community and then send their successful students to our regional event in the Denver area. How can you get involved? Two ways, financial support and being a part of the army of volunteers needed every year. Both volunteers and team leaders say the involvement is rewarding in watching the impact on young lives that will be lifelong. It's much fun for me to watch the kids, especially from year to year, and you see the teams grow, you see them experience, and then you know. I had, I had a, a parent tell me that she had a junior high student that was in eighth or ninth grade getting B's and C's, but he's a brilliant young man, couldn't... Uh, didn't want to apply himself in school, it just didn't make sense to him. Came to best, went to a 4.0 and got a full ride to Mines. So that's kind of the experience that we hope these kids get a hold of so that they can apply things and begin to, uh, it'll change their life. Sponsorships have eight different levels from a dollar to $50,000. Benefits include substantial name recognition, 
an outlet for social media, a pipeline of prospective interns and job talent, as well as satisfying your community relations objectives. The competition is a broader, longer range goal in filling up the talent pipeline for STEM in the Rocky Mountain region. For 2015, DSST Byers Middle School took first in the Game Awards. Ralston Valley and DSST Stapleton took second and third. For the best awards, St. Mary's Academy, Ralston Valley, and DSST Stapleton took first, second, and third. St. Mary's is the first all-female team to win this award in the region. The Founders Award for Creative Design also went to St. Mary's Academy. Most Robust Machine went to DSST Byers Middle School. Best Craftsmanship Award went to St. Mary's Academy, while Innovation Center of the St. Vrain Valley won the Best Project Engineering Notebook Award. Best Rookie Team is Ralston Valley, and St. Mary's Academy won the Sportsmanship Award as well as the Software Design and Simulation Award, which is new for 2015. At regionals, the Rocky Mountain Hub sent nine teams to the competition. DSST Buyers earned second place in the robot competition. Ralston Valley won first place in booth interview and second place most photogenic. St. Mary's Academy won first place marketing presentation and third place most photogenic. Manning Middle School won first place most robust and second place t-shirt. Join prestigious sponsors including Verizon, Best Buy, Jeppesen, Kroger, Raytheon, and Cytor Corporation with financial aid and volunteer support for Rocky Mountain Best. Find out more by calling 303-351-BEST or emailing info at rockymountainbest.org.